A big chunk of the carbon emissions here in the UK comes from heating homes, workplaces, schools and businesses. That's because most buildings have boilers that burn fossil fuels, normally gas, to keep them warm. For a safe climate, that gas has got to go, and we've only got a few decades to kick it. One technology ready to replace these dirty boilers is something called a heat pump. They're magic, except they're actually science. Here's how they work. The sun beams down vast amount of heat, lots of which is absorbed by the earth. We call this ambient heat, which means it's spread out across earth, air and water. Because there's so much earth, absorbing huge amounts of heat only leads to small increases in temperature. So while we don't think of the ground beneath our feet as being hot, there is actually lots of heat energy in it. A heat pump is designed to gather this spread out heat from all around us, concentrate it and pump it into buildings to warm them. It does this in three stages. First, water in long pipes underground or underwater rises by a few degrees in temperature as it absorbs ambient heat. Second, the water transfers its heat to a special fluid. By controlling the pressure in different zones of the machine, the heat pump can make the fluid give up its heat at a high temperature. Third, this high temperature fluid warms the water that then runs through the radiators of the building, warming it up. These three cycles work simultaneously to turn low temperature ambient heat into high temperature indoor heat to keep us warm. To run a heat pump you need electricity, but, and here's the magic, because we're tapping into all this free heat underground, for every unit of electricity you put in, you get up to five units of heat out. This is where parks come in. Parks have lots of heat in them. Think of all that soil, all those ponds. That heat, with the help of heat pumps, can be used to warm buildings in or near parks, replacing gas use and lowering energy bills. If the parks authority owns those buildings, they save money on bills. If someone else owns those buildings, they pay the park for the heat. In both cases, that's more cash, just as local budgets are getting squeezed. And more cash means more sustainable parks, a source of joy, calm, fun, and well-being for everyone. There are other benefits too. By cutting down and burning gas, we'll be improving air quality. And of course, low carbon heat pumps will help us tackle climate change. We're working with Hackney Council, heat pump experts and local people to prove this idea can work. Then we want to help parks all over the country to get on board. Helping parks and tackling climate change is possible.